Deus Ex Human Revolution is an action role-playing game developed by Eidos Montreal and published by Square Enix in 2011. It has a heavy cyberpunk aura and it takes place in different locations as the story goes. The game suggests a socially grim future based on themes similar to the original game, such as espionage, corporatism and most importantly, biotechnology and biological enhancement and its moral dilemmas. You play the character Adam Jensen, an ex-police officer whose life has taken a turn after a brutal injury that forced him to go through a hard surgical process and robotic implants. Adam is in a depressive and ethically confused state of mind and has to make life or death decisions that will change the course of many lives, innocent or otherwise. You are presented with a free roam map in which you can buy equipment, meet new characters, explore recondite places, get side quests and loot. The setting comprises futuristic and disturbingly chaotic versions of cities such as Detroit, where street gangs pose a threat to the power of Seraph Industries, one of the leaders in the market of bioenhancement, and Hangsha, in the cyberpunk portrayal of Shanghai, a city of many levels of both structure and crime. The combat is varied, and you can attack subtly or noisily, with lethal and non-lethal weaponry, from behind or in a direct fight. The dialogue is somewhat simple, albeit well done. You are given options to investigate specific topics of discussion with characters that have provided you with quests. I'm on it, Doc. In the meantime, be ready for the signal. Your GPL will vibrate. That'll be the time to set off the explosion. And you can also use strategies of speechcraft to try and persuade, intimidate, or bribe characters that are making your life more difficult. Toxic gas around here. But hey, if you want to breathe in the fumes, I'll go. Once in a mission while exploring buildings, your stealth mentality is crucial, as you are compelled to look for alternative paths to reach a vital point. You must have a thorough knowledge of the territory you're stepping into before you make any decision. Hacking and manipulating security devices is another important aspect of human revolution. The hacking system is smooth, self-explanatory and has a progressive set of data nuclei to capture. Hacking into terminals, laser walls and alarms gets harder as you go deeper into the storyline naturally. And sometimes you can also use automatic hacking devices to get a shortcut and save some crucial time. Your inventory and general data screen will be your best friend more often than not. In it, you can swap positions in your hotkey spots, upgrade your weapons and drop unnecessary items. Augmentations are another remarkable feature in the game, coming back from the original Deus Ex, as you can enhance your speech abilities, get better stealth techniques and improve them over time, and extend your energy sales capacity. There are those who claim that Human Revolution should have been 2011 Game of the Year, and there are those who think that its gameplay is stilted and movement isn't smooth. If I were to weigh in, I'd say that it's a fantastic game with a compelling thematic set and innovations that put it up there with the original Deus Ex, which was the beginning of a fascinating video game franchise.